And uh, Patience America, the production. You ever seen Jesus in the Fury? Oh yeah, you heard of that movie too. Yeah. What is it? I don't know it like that. Matthew McConaughey. I know. I, I, I this know. is like his theme song in the movie. <laughs> oh, when he comes in. At the end of the movie, when it ends, they're going to get Aerosmith tickets. They're in the car blazing up on the way to Houston to get the tickets. And this is playing in the background. <laughs> and he's sitting there. He is driving with a joint in his mouth. And he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> And then it cuts don't to like... Don't drive and smoke, folks. No. Don't, and smoke. don't, don't be water Turn that shit down. Don't be water Turn that shit down. Jesus. Anyway, welcome, America. We had to do something to perk you up because God knows we're both depressed. Anyway, um, and you probably know why. Why are you depressed? Because we should have won that damn game. But that's a better... Dude, y'all should... Don't give me the moral victory bullshit. It's not about moral yeah, victories. Don't say it. And I know Joel was saying that, don't too. Don't say it. It's not no, about that. No, you were fucking defending them, and I'll defend them now. I, they outplayed them. I'm impressed that they showed up like that. They outplayed them. So there. They flat out. Welcome to IDD mm. for those of you not. I'd rather know. that than forty nothing. I don't the other way. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying that that they could have won the damn game. <laughs> just like when you out. <laughs> if you don't spot them, sixteen or whatever the fuck. But it they was. overcame all that. They had more than enough chance to win this game, and there's plenty of blame but to go around. They hadn't there. spotted them anyway. If they, no, obviously they. Did, but they did, those two plays. It was that's in climate where that shit happens. Um, in climate, it was raining sideways when those inclement, in climate, inclement, whatever. And anyway, welcome to I don't disagree. For those of you that are not in the know, IDD. For those IDD. of you that are in, the redoubtable one himself, Tom Izzo, who thank God has a smile on his face. But if he didn't, I wouldn't blame him. The highly questioned one, RJ Miliaccio. It is wet my whistle <laughs> Wednesday here in the mid sack. We are re- we are recapping uh, week one. A lot of. Weird shit happened, boys and girls. This is a late recap. Sorry, a folks. Of, it's all right. This is a busy first hey, half of the until week. Until you haven't seen our recap, you ain't seen a recap. Anyway. There is no we'll other go recap. We'll go, there is, exactly. There is no other recap. So we'll go over that in segment one. Segment two, we're going to go over fantasy football, and we'll probably make some predictions. we got a game tomorrow night, Philly and Minnesota. we got to give around. advice. we got to give advice so we can be wrong again. It's wonderful. And, um, we're right on some. We're right on some. Yeah, you know, nobody hits on all this shit. There might have been some atrocities, though. <sighs> There's always an atrocity. And yes, in Sunday's case, there were two. <laughs> so, Yikes. Um, well, there was an atrocity Monday night. That too, but that was a different kind of atrocity. Yikes. Um, there was actually two atrocities Monday night. Uh, we'll get into those. But anyway, a lot of amazing stuff went on. So football is back in full swing. And yeah, there were some that you knew, th- some you didn't know, and some you're like, what the fuck? Kind of shit going on. So I don't know where he wants to start. <clears throat> he wants to get the G-men out of the way. It's up to him. Um, <clears throat> I got, right. uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll get the G men out of the way. You know, now before you, just because they, they don't deserve a lot of time. No, they don't. But let me just say one thing. Um, I now understand why he is the way he is with them, because honestly, that made no fucking sense whatsoever. Okay, I'm not saying that they, they could have lost mm. the game, but the way they lost, no, terrible, terrible. So anyway, I'm with that. <clears> it's <throat> his team. I'll let him have the floor. Get it all out and don't hold back. Yeah, this won't take long. <clears throat> but I told you they needed to go out and prove it. They did. And he did. And he they, did and, say and, that. And they couldn't They couldn't prove it because we saw it last year. We'll see it again. Mm-hmm. The Giants are not terrible. But when it comes to a team that is built like a legitimate football team, they can't fucking compete. If you're built in the trenches and on the O-line, the Giants are going to struggle mightily against you. <sighs> If you have deficiencies in your O-line and deficiencies in your D-line, then the Giants can probably run with you. But any team like Dallas, O-line, D-line. Any t- San if, Fran. San Fran. Philly. Philly. Probably throw Detroit. In, throw in New England. Yeah, New throw England, in Detroit yeah. because that offensive line yeah, is yeah. big as fuck. Yeah. They're going to swallow up Green Bay D-line. has a big offensive line. Green, yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they're around the league. Yeah. Teams know how to build them. Yeah. Not the Giants, though. Yeah. Um, They've tried. But they've missed, they've failed. They might need a new offensive line coach because I mean, they have two of the biggest motherfuckers I've ever seen. Yeah. And they were getting beat they like beat they stole some down. shit. Andrew Thomas got hurt. Uh, he played through a hamstring the whole game. So I'll give him credit. But still, one guy manned up. Yeah. One. <laughs> I mean, Evan Neal, my God. The right side of that line, I think, gave up 20 pressures. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Seven sacks. <laughs> That's seven 
That's pathetic. Fucking, and your quarterback is mobile. <laughs> seven fucking yeah. sacks. <laughs> but, but, you know, but Danny I mean, didn't even play great. He, no, you know, he didn't either. Now, he was running all over the place, yeah, but even I mean, when he had a chance to make no, a play, yeah, he, screwed he couldn't up. do it. And, by the way, when he made the throw, guys dropped it yeah. or fumbled it or all, whatever. the. I mean, five fumbles. <clears throat> five Well, fucking, he had at least one of them, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but, yeah, he's getting thrown around like a rag doll. These guys in the second that catch the ball, you, you know, protect the fucking ball. Can't da-da-da. drop the ball. Can't drop the ball. You can't drop. You can't, can't get put the, it on the ground. No, you can't. Not, I mean, the, the, that, that the, team feeds off turnovers. The Giants, here's here's something. So people like to be positive. Find the, but the Giants did nothing right. The first drive of the game, well, that was they the only did thing. something right. They gave up a blocked field goal for a for yeah, six. And, but then Dallas missed the extra point. Right. They're like, all right, whatever. But they could never recover never, from that moment. They never recovered. And, and this is where I say... Brian Dable has gotten a ton of ass kissing for the past year <laughs> plus yeah. because of what, you know, he's God's gift to coaching. And I'm not here to say he's not. Well, But, like, your last two fucking games Eagles, against divisional opponents, who, yeah. you gave up 70 fucking points or whatever. Yeah. 30, Maybe 80. 70, 78. It Almost was 30, 80. 38 to whatever it was in the playoffs. That game. is historic. Yeah. yeah. And those are your division opponents? Yeah. Like, look, to me, you've – you have to be a good enough coach that even when you're outclassed, your team knows how to put up a fight. Your team knows how to stick to their strength and not get fucking steamrolled. My God. Bum blasted. Uh, just a uh, bum obliterated. Blasted. A, bum bl- a, bum ob- a bum obliterated. So here's, here's, here's my me. thing that I'll say. Enough about that game. <laughs> They're going to Arizona. They better fucking win that But game. here's the thing. You know who the coach of Arizona is? No. Last year, he was Philly's D coordinator. Well, they lost their first game, too. I understand. But Philly's D coordinator drew up a plan to eat the Giants alive. Now, he doesn't have the same players. Yeah, yeah, that defense. But but they played pretty well against the Commanders. They did. Like They did. They gave Um, the Commanders a scare. They did. On the road, they did. On the road. So, Um, if anybody with less talent knows how to beat the Giants using a – Game plan? Look, the, it's that fucking The Giants nerd. on paper are the better team. They should win that game. They better win that game. Um, oh, the they, only thing, they could be done if they the lose The only that thing game. I will say. Then they go to San Fran. The two teams that did this to them. Yikes. The last two games that they played are far superior in terms of talent. Yep. I agree with that. So, wholeheartedly. The, when you're playing, to his point, when you're playing his team more talent, you must outplay them fundamentally because you can't out-talent them. Mm-hmm. I've said this about basketball forever. You, you can you can out you can beat the more talented person if you, you because you can outplay them mentally. The Giants had to outplay Dallas mentally. They after the first drive couldn't do it. Dallas made one adjustment on that defense, and the Giants never adjusted. And it, I don't get it. The coaching staff choked. Everybody choked. Um, and again, the Danny Dimes bash is going to beat him up. Please, he's way down. He didn't play well. He's way down on the list of, of the blame pie on this one. Honestly, the line got pistol whipped, first of all. If your line doesn't protect, I don't care who your fucking quarterback is. Okay, you're not going to do anything. I think coaching coaching might be number one. Number one, I think, is coaching. Because for Dallas, to me, all Dallas did was they went doubles over the the tackles with the linebackers, and they would pick a gap and and shoot it. All the Giants had to do, and they had the personnel. In fact, I thought they went out and got the personnel to do this against Dallas and Philly. Nope. (laughs) <laughs> was go 12 personnel because they have two tight ends that can catch the ball. They have one of the best running backs in all of football behind them. You play action pass, you suck in those linebackers, and you burn them with these two tight ends over the top until Dallas gets out of it and goes into a nickel, and then you can run him and again. You run. <laughs> That's what you do. They never fucking really – I think I saw 12 personnel twice in the whole game. And you know when I saw it? On third and long. On third and long, they know you're going to fucking throw the ball. <laughs> right. What the fuck good is 12 personnel on third and 15? Are you going to run from it? <laughs> you're not running on third and 15. Go ahead, run against third. It's fucking ridiculous. Dude, imagine this. So, you say coaching. Imagine this. Blocked kick for, yeah, special for, teams for a return. Special teams. Fire him already. Defense. Yeah. 40 points. Well, offense. Well, 40 points and never once. Is, they didn't. They didn't smell Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. And he didn't do anything. He could have had a fucking pile of yeah, shit in his pants, yeah. and our D line yeah. never would have smelled him. Terrible. They couldn't get anywhere near Absolutely him. Terrible. Um, and yeah. then the offense. How many turnovers? How many fumbles? Five fumbles. Seven sacks. Yikes. Seven. Yikes. Okay. How many drops? And the play calling. You're trying to roll out Danny Dimes into a defense that fast. 
That, that defense, along with the Patriots defense and the Niners defense, are the three fastest defenses side to side in football. You can't run side Dude, to side. Their on corners that. were cheating like fuck. Yeah. If he if he was coming in or if he was dinking under, corners were all over. I don't get it. The game plan after the, the, the adjustment after that first drive for them after Dallas adjusted made no sense, and they never recovered. So. Look, it's one game. Impressive showing from Dallas, but yeah, it's Dak, one, Dallas. Dak kinda... Dallas always peaks early too. That's the thing. I've, we've seen the Cowboys do this early in the season before. So, listen, congratulations, America's joke. You blew a team out on opening night. Well, oh here, boy! Here's one thing you I'll didn't say put about the Dak, uh, you didn't put the NFL on notice. Let's get let's. Here's one thing I'll say now. about Dak. Okay, because I just made a face when I talked when I said his name, and yeah, he didn't have a gaudy game. He didn't have to. Right. He didn't have and, to. And he just had to not fuck it up. And the thing is, I think if he can learn how to do that, they'll probably be better. Of course they'll now be he's better. Gotta, he's got to play better than I mean, he played no, last no, night. No, they're not going to beat a real, a good, like, no. the, they're, not, they're not beating Detroit or Philly or San Fran playing no, like that. Because he's going to have to He's going to have right. to do match right. up. And you're not going to get and four picks yeah, off of no. those teams. If you're, you're not getting five turnovers again. No way. You're not getting it. Don't, don't hold your breath, Dallas. Um, but, but anyway, if you can play safe, and then you the, can the, play, the Jets get another gift because I mean the Cowboys get another gift, gift because here come the fucking Jets with no Aaron Rodgers. With Zach Wilson. Uh, or is it, we, no, but they, they, yeah, they, Aaron's gone. I know. Talk about a gift. But but even more even more of a gift is the guy who's in there oh, doesn't know what the fuck the guy he's doing. Who's in there wets himself. Fucking wets himself. Seriously, it should be Je- Zach wets. He himself. had a couple good drives last game. He listen the other night after I mean, he threw the pick. He, he gathered he himself better, and yeah. played better. I'll give him that. But he looked like he was focused. Yeah. And in the, he didn't look scared after that. No, after that. He kind of settled down. He, it and, was and like, all teammates. right, dude. Yeah. So you threw that pick. Don't do it. Don't do it again. And he should get credit for that. Yeah. But the thing the thing is this. Um, the Cowboys get another gift now with them coming in to Dallas on Sunday. In shambles, basically. In shambles, basically. Because they're not going to be able to compete with no quarterback. Their defense will hold up. But they offensively... Against that defense, you yeah. need a, you need a real quarterback. And, and I, until Zach, see the problem is their defense can hold up, but yeah. Dallas will still score. But they're still going to get know, twenty like, points probably so, at so, home, right? Yeah. So Zach Wilson, I don't know. I, I would root for Zach Wilson to play well after that. He look. I think after he threw the pick, he responded. He was much he better. Did. Everybody harped on the pick, but they keep forgetting what happened after the pick. He and played he much went better. Hole. He could have. And again, hole. now the touchdown pass he threw was that was a shit throw. That was a great catch by. <laughs> That wasn't. Shit that throw. was not. That's probably why he's getting crap because even the touchdown pass. But wasn't at least him. he made the throw. Like, well, it was like the right was, read. Exactly. It was that's the wrong he throw. He made the right read at least. <laughs> yeah, but he made the wrong throw. Sure. If that kid wasn't a stud, well, yeah. that's one of the greatest catches I've ever seen. Dude, I'll be honest with you. Dude, greatest he catch had the receiver on one hand. Yeah. The ball in this hand. He tipped, tipped it up like this. Oh my god. And then you gotta be kidding. Garrett Wilson's As he was awesome. falling down. Garrett Wilson's awesome. He's amazing. He's amazing. And, and he's young. He's and he, young. And yeah. he doesn't seem like an asshole either. No, he doesn't. And uh, the Jets better lock him up. I'll tell you right now, he's a gem. So, um, yeah, go ahead and but, extend him. Yeah. But um, anyway, Dallas gets another gift with that on Sunday. Um, so you think uh, Zach Wilson and the Jets have no chance there? You know, who was it? Somebody who said it today. I'll tell you, this is what it'll come down to. The Jet coaching staff has to, and this is my father taught me, because my father was a quarterback. Whoever your quarterback is, and, and they've all got different perks, different likes, you've got to put together an offense that fits what he does. you got to go Bill O'Brien. And, and No, but every good coach does this. Look, uh, fuck it, the walrus over there in Kansas City, Randy Reed, yeah, Andy Reed. Hit that offense is tailor-made for, for <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Right. It plays to his strengths, and why mm-hmm. wouldn't you do that? Yeah. He doesn't want Mahomes. Like, Mahomes has gotten better at dropping back in the pocket, but in the first couple of years, that's not what his strength was. It was rolling out and making things happen. He called a lot of RPOs. That's good coaching. That's playing to the right. strengths of your – and that's what you're supposed to do. Right. What the Jets coaching – and you will know this on the first series against Dallas on Sunday, whenever they play. because Nathaniel Hackett yeah, is the guy that's got to do because, it. Because, again, the one thing you can do with the Cowboys – and the problem is the Jets' line isn't, isn't very good. Yeah. Um, you've got to run right at it's them. Not, I don't know that it's like – Shambles bad, but they look whatever they've great. got, they've got to go two tight ends. In fact, a lot of those sets against Buffalo, they had two tight ends and an extra tackle on the field. Mm. They went three, they, they went, uh, they went jumbo package on first and ten from the 40. Mm. I do that, I don't care. The only way you're going to beat the Cowboys is to run right at them. And by the way, the guy you're running at, America, is Micah Parsons. Mm. 
and you're you're not running one guy at him. You're running two of the biggest, fattest human beings on earth at him, and you're going to pancake him forty times again. That's what you have to do with that slow kid. Slow him down. Just beat him up. Yeah. Beat him the that'll, fuck that'll up. That'll slow him down. That's what you got to do. And, and and the team that has the that has the personnel and the stubbornness to do this is who's going to beat the Cowboys. Yeah. By the way, I can name two of them. Right? Actually, Eagles. three of them. The Eagles. Eagles, the Niners, and the Lions are three teams that are, have the personnel and are stubborn enough to do it. And that's why Dallas. That's why Dak Prescott eventually is going to have to earn his paycheck. Okay, because up until now he has not lived up to that paycheck. So. That's the thing with the Cowboys, okay? The Giants didn't have the will to do it for whatever fucking mm-hmm. reason, and they had the tight ends to do it, which really pisses me off. But the, these other teams do. So, yeah, Dallas, enjoy your cupcake. And if, if the Jets, by the way, come out in that jumbo package and decide we're going to run at these motherfuckers 50 times, we're going to run it right at Mike and Parsons 50 times, I guarantee you that game will be close. Because eventually that Dallas D will break. But you've got to beat them up, and you've got to beat them up for three quarters because they won't break until the fourth quarter. But you've got to be disciplined. The Jets' defense is good enough to keep them in that game in the fourth quarter. What Mr. Wilson can't do, one, don't turn the fucking ball. I don't give a shit. I'd rather you throw it at your fucking feet than throw it. If you don't see it, throw it away. Live with the Dude, punts. That's the, what they got to the do. The Jets have so many good players on defense. Yeah, they're a top four They're good. I yeah. mean, them, I the love Patriots, Quinn and the, Williams and Quincy Williams. Yeah. You know they're brothers? Yeah. So you got D-line and linebacker? Yeah, Ellen, that's, Ellen Carter. That's awesome. I'm sorry, no, that's Philly. I'll get to him in a minute. But No, the Jets have a ton of talent at all three levels, Yeah. as do the Patriots, as do the Cowboys, and as do the Knights. The difference is the Cowboys are probably the smallest, quickest team of that group. The Jets are a little bit more bigger. In the, in the, the Patriots have two guys, 330 in on the tackles. They play a base nickel, and the two tackles are both 330-plus. Vince Wilfork style? Yeah, but they went 3-4, and that's a he with two gaps. So they had him, they had Ted, I don't know if you remember Big Ted Washington, that dude, he was bigger than Will Fork. Really? Oh, he was, dude, he was bigger than Refrigerator Perry. John said the guy Snacks yeah. Harrison for a while, it was real big. Snacks Harrison, that, that says it all. <laughs> um, but the thing That's is, a, just such a great fucking Oh, I love it, that's a great snack, football name, Snacks, snacks Harrison. Harrison. Who's he? He's our nose tackle. You know, you know he's a kid that was always, always yeah. had snacks or some shit. That's how we got the name. The man hasn't missed a meal in two decades, okay? It's not serious. So the bottom line is this. We'll get into that in a bit. But, Makes you know, uh, offensive guards. But, yeah, snacks. switching gears to the, the other the game, the Patriots-Eagles. Now, look, I've been listening to this for three days. And, and again, it's very funny where some of these people are falling on this. Um, the idiots, and that means the ones who didn't play professional football, are all Anybody saying. disagree. No, uh, but here's the thing. Because the after, the professional football players are all saying the same thing. This was more about what the Patriots did. Here's what the analysts, here's what all the guys that didn't play football said. Well, Belich, what'd you expect? Bill Belichick had eight months to prepare for him. Like, well, didn't the Eagles have eight months to prepare for Bill Belichick? Because they kind of did. <laughs> I mean, I think it was the same amount of time. For, no, no, no. They just got yeah. the schedule. I, I, they found out. Yeah, they found out on September 1st they were playing the Ted Patrick. Yeah, they hit it, they yeah. it from us. Uh, so yeah, we never knew. No one knew. Actually, no, it was the D coordinator and O coordinator. They they yeah. took the schedule with them. The Patriots did something on Sunday that, now again, all the players picked up on it. They, they did something no one has been able to do. They shut the Philadelphia running game down. They ran. They only ran for 97 yards. They mm-hmm. held. They held. Remember I said this to you on Friday, you got to prove it to me, how Belichick couldn't stop a mobile quarterback? Yeah. He literally turned mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts into an ordinary job. 37 yards rushing on nine carries. Irrelevant. And after the first quarter, they never got in the red zone again. Yeah, most of the, most of the yards were on that first drive, weren't yeah. they? The, 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 well, the, the, the turnover wasn't deep in their territory. The Pats outgained them by net 150 yards. They held the Philadelphia offense to 254 total yards. It's impressive. Are you fucking kidding When's me? When's the last time Philly didn't run for 100 yards? I don't know. We'd have to look it up. But we know this. I'd like to look that up. I think up. you should look that up. Um, but I do this. The Patriots did something that very, very, very few teams have been able to do. And that should scare the rest of the NFL. Because Philly has the best offensive line in football. Everyone agrees on that. The Patriots beat the shit out of it. <laughs> That's did they scary. Get, did they get to Hurts? They three sacks. That's impressive. Three sacks and he's mobile. Okay? And he has two number ones. And by the way... They took the tight end. Get what's in Gedek was really good. Gidrick, whatever his name is, he's with a G. Gedrick, Gedrick, what's no, his name? Um, Gassette, not Gasecki. That's Patriots. Um, 
They, whatever their tight end is, the, the, he's good. He's in the middle. He's a good tight end. Mm-hmm. They, he didn't have a catch. Goddard. 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 Not a single catch. They took him completely out of the game. And they held the two ones to 162 yards and combined, combined and one touchdown. <coughs> Talk about impressive. They stopped them on all three levels. And if, awesome. if the Pats didn't turn the ball over twice, or if Bill Belichick had fucking kicked the goddamn field goal on fourth and three instead of going for it that first time, and then the extra points instead of going for the two when the first two got called back because of holding, why don't you kick the field goal then? Or the extra point then? It would have been a, a one-point game when they get the ball back, and they were well within field goal range when Mack went for it on that fourth and ten. And by the way, all of that wouldn't have mattered if Bote, the rookie from LSU, had got his foot down. <laughs> was it was it bad technique when he didn't get yeah, his foot he, down? Yeah, he over... The ball was right where it needed to be. He overextended, and because he did that, he literally... Because he launched himself. Mm. So he only got one. He didn't have to did launch have to himself. Dive? He didn't have no, to the ball was right. He could have caught the ball like this. He yeah. went like that. Mm. And like if he just kept running and looked down, but he gets a toe tap, first down. Because he was beyond the marker. It was a first down. That's too bad. Yeah. And if they got it there, they'd won the game. Because they had 30 seconds and a timeout from the nine-yard line. So look, there's no moral victories, Joel. I'm not enjoying a moral victory because I don't believe in moral victories, Joel. I don't even know what that fucking means. Okay? But the bottom line is your team got outplayed and you know it. And the best part is Mac Jones destroyed your secondary. He fucking destroyed it. After the first quarter, do you know what he was? 69% completion, 292 yards passing, three touchdowns, a rating of 111. From, from the second, the, from to the the first second quarter. quarter on. The rest of the game. What he did? He outplayed. He completely so he threw, out. He threw the pick six in the first quarter. In the first quarter. He completely outplayed Jalen Hurts. It wasn't even close. <laughs> he completely, I want you to hear that, Joel. Completely. You were four. I, I, I just be, I, I played Jalen Hurts, and he did it with less weapons. So you, you, I, it's not about a moral victory, Joel. I'm enjoying the facts of the case. And, and, and but, here, the case. but here's the thing, Joel. I wouldn't worry because, well, you're not going to see the Patriots again until the Super Bowl anyway. But the bottom line is this: the Patriots are better than people think they are. And you know who realized it? Marcus Spears. Okay, the guy on NFL. They're, they're, bo- they're both saying, it. "I got news for you. This team is better." than people think they are, okay? And that was no fluke what they did to Philly. And the best part about this is, guess what the Sunday night game is? I don't know. Miami at New England. No. That's the Sunday oh, wow. night game. Yo, if they hold Miami down, that'll be impressive. My, but this is the thing. Everybody's talking about Miami. That defense they pistol whipped was 20th in the NFL last year. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a defense. Here's the thing about that one. Know that coach that you and I said should have been fired over and over He's again? Still there. Guess what? Well, guess what? He pulled the Bill Belichick. No. Not, oh, listen to this. No. This is even better. Think about all the shit With this the guy's coordinators? Been. The whole fucking game, America. I want you to hear this. This dickhead, Staley, whatever is it, Brandon Staley, the coach. Brandon of, Staley. This fucking walking. Chargers coach. This meathead, this meat puppet, okay? The meat whole puppet. fucking game, he played. Man to man against Waddle and Tyreek Hill. Yikes. He never fucking without Jalen Ramsey. Uh, without J- with the, he, well, that, that's the Dolphins. Yikes. Yeah, but I'm saying the Dolphins. Oh, I'm sorry. This I'm sorry. But is, he played man to man the whole fucking game, and 466 yards later. He still hadn't figured out. Wow, <laughs> are you fucking kidding? He never me? tried zone. No. You should have heard. You should have heard. Uh, who the hell was it? It wasn't Marcus Spears. It so was, that so Dan Orlovsky was like, no, Ryan Clark. Somebody's like the whole freaking game. <laughs> Sal Palantonio was on that set to say, going after the first quarter when they toasted you. Would you not have gone zone? <laughs> I mean, I understand you screwing this up for a quarter, but a whole game. <laughs> that is Brandon State. This guy should have been fired twice already. He should have been fired twice already because they they were winning that game in spite of him, and they scored with like a minute left to go ahead. Hmm. That was I, that was the other one I got right. I said that was going to be a Donnie. Both teams are scoring thirties. It was literally the Donnie Burke that I said it was going to be. I what just did didn't pick. I picked San Diego. Picked we both did. L A. Yeah, and they were ahead by five with a with a minute to go, and again man to man. Hey, you know what we should do? We should go one on one against Tyreek Hill in the red zone because we stayed with him the whole game. Dumbass. <laughs> Complete dumbass. I can't find the oh, damn what? 
Your phone is like that. The per game. No, I, I'm not looking it up right. What do you look? What do you look? What's the stat you want? Oh, I want to look up because how I, many times they've rushed for 100 yards? Or the last team to stop them from 100 yards in a game? Yeah. Well, I just want to know like their streak. So I wanted to just find well, game per game list. We can actually, if you go to they, on ESPN, they have last year's schedule. You literally can go game by game by game and find it and find every game. Yeah, if I go to the Eagles, um, if they, they doesn't want to pull up, probably not. last season that's what we want no but this is San Francisco I'm trying to get the Eagles uh, here we go all right so schedule let me go last year 2022 regular season that's for real uh, let's see well okay now in every game are you ready for this mm-hmm. okay it's been a while hasn't it well leading Leading rusher, Sanders. This, now, this is just leading rusher. but Okay, they played Detroit first game. Sanders by himself got 96 yards. I think, you know, they ran for over 100 in that game. Yeah. The next game, Sanders, um, 80 yards. They probably ran for over. They won that game 24-7 over Minnesota. Now, here's the one you got to check. At Washington, Sanders ran for 46 yards. So, if I go to that game, that was week three. Um, when I go to box score, <coughs> They ran for 72 yards. That was week three of last season. Damn, Washington held them down. Washington beat them the second time in yeah. Philly, remember? Washington was better than people thought yeah. they were. Um, so that was week three. All right, let me go back and see if there's anything after week three, because that would be quite a stretch, right? So then after that, Sanders by himself rushes for a buck 34. Uh, then they beat Hurts for 61. Hurts for 61. Um, let's see what happened. That, one's that was question. at Arizona. Uh, box score. They ran for 139. Wow. Hurts 61, Sanders 58, Kenneth Gainwell 20. They ran for 139 in that game. Okay. Jeez. So they yeah, forget free. about all those rush yards that Hurts. I'm saying, yeah. Then the next game, Sanders 71 yards. They beat Dallas. They, I'm sure they ran for 100 there because Dallas can't stop the run. <laughs> then you've got Pittsburgh. They went 35 13. Sanders 78 yards. You definitely, they ran for 100. Then the next game at Houston. Sanders, 93 yards. They did it then. Um, then they lose to Washington. Sanders, 54 yards. Let's see what happened in that game. Don't tell me Washington did this twice. <laughs> well, when they beat them, they probably did. Washington held them to 94 yards rushing in the second. Damn. Isn't that incredible? Washington twice. knows. They knows. Washington knows so, how. Well, the first game they didn't score, though. Philly won the first game. I know, they but they know how to stop the run. I'm saying the they know how to stop their run. Yeah, so if you think about that, America – Okay, after Washington. Hold on a second. Tennessee held Miles Sanders to 24. And, and they won. Uh, whether, let's see what happens. That was a tough game. Oh, no, they won 35 10. Yeah. Oh, that's when they, they were ran throwing, for 67. They yards. were throwing bombs to A.J. Brown that Hertz game. was 380 and three touchdowns. A.J. Brown, 192 yeah. and two scores. Devontae Smith, 102 and a touchdown. That's a nice one two combo, America. Why can't the pass get players like I'm that? I'm sure I had Devontae on my um, bench for that so game. So they ran for. All right, so Tennessee. So, look, the point is, this happens few and far between with that offensive line. And the Patriots, in a, in a, in a fucking rainstorm, when you want to run the ball, held them to 97 points. I'm Patriots. actually surprised, though. So, like, I thought they'd have a better streak than that. They averaged. They read the lead the league in rushing as a team. They averaged the most. They had them one rushing. I, know, it's still, I, I figured so, they'd get 100 every game. If you think 17 games and four of them they didn't hit 100, out of 17. We didn't look at all of them. Well, I'm pretty sure they take those four games out of it. I bet the other 13 games they, they did. I would bet. If you want yeah, to is that like Bart Scott only got, or uh, Boston Scott, 54 yards as the leader? In that was game. one of the, which game was that one? That was the last game of the season. They weren't really trying, though. Bart Scott? Um, it was Boston Scott, sorry. Hold on. The one in New York? Yeah. They ran for 135 yards. And Boston's, he was the leading rusher at 56. Listen to this. Scott, 56. Kenneth Gainwell, 35. Miles Sanders, 33. <laughs> Jalen Hurts, 13. 34 carries, 135 yards. The Giants <laughs> ran for 129 yards in that game. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> um, the bottom line is what the Patriots did on defense should concern the rest of this league. Because you can talk about what the Jets did to Buffalo. No one's going to tell me Buffalo's offense is anywhere near as good as Philly's. Because it's not. It's not. Okay? So, 
And the Giants' offense is nowhere near as good as Philly's. So, yeah, Dallas shut them out. But that was a lot of that was the Giants peeing down their leg, too. Um, <laughs> because, honestly, when you when – they've, they've, they've mastered that. When you have – you know, here's the thing about the Giants, and I've noticed this. And, again, the one playoff they, game they won, keep in mind, was Minnesota and that choke artist Kirk Cousins, okay? Um, no offensive line, no defensive no line. No defensive line. The two to, whenever, the, whenever they That's run up the, against these teams that are more they, – they crap themselves. By and large, they craft themselves. And they get and they just they, get they ragdolled. They get rattled. They get ragdolled they all get, over that field like they're a JV it, team. It is unbelievable how they get JV. fucking pistol whipped against these teams. I mean, just, I can't imagine what San Fran would do to them. Well, you're going to see in two it, weeks. Oh, they go to Arizona and San Fran. They stay out west. I might, I might want to come And home. I think it's a Sunday game against Arizona and a Thursday game against... Oh, it's a short week? Yeah. Who's San Fran playing? We're gonna find that. Yeah, hopefully somebody can beat them up a little bit. Oh, it's, please. It's probably a They're gonna be licking their chops seeing the Giants coming to town. That could be ugly, America. That could be really ugly. I hope it's not for his sake, but that could be really, really ugly. <laughs> yeah, it's Giants, Cardinals, Niners, Rams. Maybe the Rams will the run. The Rams up. look it. You know, we we all got that one wrong. We all got the Rams wrong. I got news for you. They went in there and yikes, yowzers. What's that? I just said yikes, Giants Niners. Sorry. Two weeks. Yeah. So well, hey. it's it's not even two weeks because it's uh, the Thursday game. Well, it's two weeks from tonight. Because it's third. Oh no, well, it's, it's from tomorrow week. night. From tomorrow night. No, it's a week. Oh, that's right. Because they play. Because they play Arizona Sunday, it's, and then four days later they play the Niners. It's one week. So they get it. So all they right. get another primetime game to get I'm their gonna go ass in this house. beat. I'm going to get rid of all the the sharp objects, all the all the the, the nooses, all the everything. It, it sucks though because <sighs> it's it's another primetime game where they are. If they don't show up they again, show up. they don't got to win that game. No. But they got to play. They, they got to play. Fight. Well. They got to fight. They got to fight. They got to show. The, be competitive. You got to show something. You can't. You've you can't act like an NFL team. If I'm Brian Dayball, I'll be like, is this how you want to go out? That is this what happens? You want to be KO'd in the first week of the season? Look at this. Washington shut down Philly twice, beat them once, and we can't even be in the game in the third in the first quarter. I don't know what. Ha- Listen, you're out of the game in the first quarter with these teams. I don't get why you go out and get personnel to combat a team like this, and then you don't use it that way. I don't get it. What is the point of that? Well, ask God's gift to coaching what he's doing. I don't. Know. But look, I'm very proud of what the Patriots did. Um, they came back. I'll tell you what, 16-0 would have KO'd a lot of teams. You saw it on my. Fuck yeah. The Patriots fucking got up off the mat and fought back. When I and, looked back at the score and I saw 16-14, yeah. I was shocked. Mac Jones and that from <laughs> nice. the second quarter on, Mac Jones was the best player on that. Field. McCorkle, I picked you up in yeah. fantasy, you son of a. Well, if he keeps playing like that, he's going to be an MVP candidate. Because I news for you, that was one of the best defenses in the league. And he did it without a number one. Let me pull up my notes so we can see who got more games right. You did. You were over 500. You could probably really? got three or four more than me. Yeah. Mr. I never get anything right. <laughs> we got to have one, gotta have one week. Oh, they're crying his dream. I never get him right. Now you listen. Like, we, okay. And I said, yeah. I said then, that's not true. He does get more right than wrong. And it's not a one. He does right. pick her up. I like to right. downplay myself. You know, it's kind of under promise over deliver, baby. Mm-hmm. You, right, were, you were like a politician looking for the sympathy vote. No, it's a fucking defense mechanism. What can I say? It's a oh, you're defense sit here, mechanism. No, I pick it. Yes, yeah, All right, so here we go. Here we go. Carolina, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You went Carolina, I went Atlanta. I know. Bijan, way to go, boy. Uh, way to Carolina. go. Carolina had two stupid turnovers. Go. Bad ones. Bijan, though, for his first game. Everybody knew what he was going to do. 20 points. Not surprised. Thank you for helping. Yeah. Fantasy. Um... um Cleveland, Cincy, you had Cleveland? Yeah, I had Cleveland. You had Cincy in that one. Attaboy, attaboy. Uh, well, that, that, I didn't think that was going to happen, though. What was it, 24-3? Joe Burrow threw for 82 yards. Joe Burrow is still missing. He didn't play. <sighs> Cleveland's D ain't APB. that good. Cleveland's D ain't that good. You can't tell me Miles Garrett is that He's good. He's that good. The whole defense? Just one guy? One guy did it's that? It's a fucking quadruple team. Of no way one guy did that to him. <laughs> The whole line should just go no, there. What happened was he missed all the preseason because of the damn calf injury. He was throwing balls at the feet of his receivers. He was this timing Yikes. was way off. He was right. terrible. Um, <laughs> we both took Jacksonville, who did not did not. Your boy played really right. well, but again, these running quarterbacks. He got hurt. 
Oh, Anthony Richardson? Yeah, he played well. He ran Did he get for, hurt? Yes. Oh, he got big hurt, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, well, hopefully he's not big hurt. But he, got, he came out of the he game. He walked off. He threw two touchdown passes and he ran for another. looked all right. Right? Two I touchdowns a pick. I he mean, looked I mean, really good until yeah. he got hurt. Yeah. This is the problem with running quarterbacks. you got to teach him how to fucking slide. Yeah. Like. Yeah, because you're big and you can take those hits in college. If you're good, the yeah, these guys are bigger. You can't do that. Yeah. Like, and he, look, up until that point, you were right. He played well. Yeah. Pittman had almost 100 yards receiving. I think Pittman, the one guy, he played well. I'm telling you, they were in that game with Jacksonville. Yeah. And, boy, Jacksonville looks good. Yeah. Oh, baby. By the way, that get Chiefs at Jacksonville Sunday. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Dude, Calvin Rid- Ridley went off. Oh, uh, yeah. I said he'd be number one. I told him on the air, by the end of the first quarter, he'll be the number one. He catches a touchdown on the first round. <laughs> and I'm not living Maybe not by the end I think of the he caught quarter. four passes. In the first quarter in a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. He had two touchdowns on the game. That's crazy. I mean, well, no, he had 100-something yards in a touchdown. Um, but they spread around. Look, that, that, that offense is yeah, um, be nasty. We both um, picked Minnesota. Sorry about you that. You talked me into that. You should never let me talk you into something. Well, because I didn't know if, if, if he was going to play. <clears throat> you convinced me he wasn't going to play. <laughs> If I knew Mike he was going to play, I would have taken Mike him. Evans. By the way, Baker Mayfield. He looked all right. He played well. What did they score? 21? Yeah, on the road. It was They won the game late. 20, it was 2017. But the Tampa defense is everything I said they were. And, and Jefferson went off. They shut everybody else off. Yeah. It's all right. He ain't beating us by himself. Whatever. Yeah. They shut everybody else down. The, other, the tight end, the guy we all like, what's his name, Hawkinstein? They fucking blanketed him. Hawkinson. Yeah, they they took him right out of the But game. the rookie receiver caught a touchdown. Yep, he looked good. Yeah. But they they shut the middle. They did what the Patriots did to Philly. They took out the tight end. Yeah. They took him out of the game completely. All right, so we both got Minnesota wrong. We both got New Orleans right. Yep. Um, barely. New Orleans barely won that game. Who did well, they play against? Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, because Henry had a great game. But, dude, Didn't Ryan Tannehill threw three fucking picks. Oh. Fucking Ryan Tannehill. He God, did? Ryan Tannehill, you'll never let me down. You'll never let me down. They he might fucking, as well put Will Levis in there. He, they should just bench him forever. He sucks. And, and where was DeAndre Hopkins? Oh, I wouldn't know because he kept throwing picks. <laughs> Yikes. You go out and get DeAndre Hopkins, and I didn't even see him in a single headline. Uh, Headl- next Hopkins. one, you went Pittsburgh. I went San Fran. Yeah, that was Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Sure. They're still missing. They're missing. It wasn't for the Giants. That would have been the stinker of the week. Yikes. They would have been the number two. Yeah, stinker of the week. Giants stinker. They would have never run her up. But they didn't score until the second half, right? Dude, they got beat up. <laughs> San Fran went in there and beat them up. Yeah. That was a woodshed beat. So I think maybe Pittsburgh's similar to the Giants. If they're going to play one of those big dogs, they're going to be shook. I think San Fran's the best team in the NFL right now. And, and by the way, Joel, I agree. Joel said this. I agree with Joel. San Fran's the best? Right now they are. If they yeah. stay healthy, it's theirs to lose. They are the most complete team in this league. Now, again, Brock I Purdy say that. I, I, here's the thing. Philly's got weapons. San Fran, I think, has more. I think they have more. Brandon Ayuk, you, you had him on your fucking bench. Look, that's their number three receiver. It's, it's, <laughs> well, it's, he's the it's number it's one D- receiver. No, it's, he's their third option. No, but it's Debo Kittles, who's an all-pro tight end, and then him. He's the well, third no, option. No, it's actually Debo. No, it's actually McCaffrey. Debo, Debo kills, Kittles, and then Ayuk. I'm, and he, look at what he, he did. two bombs, yeah, yeah, two I, touchdowns. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, he's a stud. And I had him on my fucking bench like an idiot. But nobody knew who Nobody who's going to do that. Um, but still, but that's what happens. This is the thing about fantasy. That's why you can't get all jacked up. That's why I was laughing at the guys. It's, it's one week, you're one and out. I'm trying to stay calm about it because yeah. it was like, I should have won that game yeah, based but, on who I had in there. That's all you can do. If your quarterback you did anything, you would have won exactly. the game. Let, forget take Ayuk out of it. Six point nine. Six point nine for Lamar, and they won. And they won the game. Pathetic. They actually won the game, and he, he was that bad. <laughs> he like, threw two picks. He had a yeah. fumble. I'm like, oh. dude, you just take one pick away, and I win. Talk about Joel got. I lost Joel by two got, points. Joel got lucky twice. Twice. Fucking Philly. Philly, Philly dodged Philly. the bullet against the yeah, Patriots, and he literally. There's no way. If you had told me. Before the before that the game started on Sunday, that Lamar Jackson was going to score six points and he was going to play the whole game, I'd have laughed in your face. <laughs> Thank you. I'd have laughed you right off this fucking, are you kidding me? And Joel would never have made the tough pick uh-huh. at the tough time and said that. Okay, so don't even. No way. Joel, Joel, congratulations. You dodged two bullets on Sunday. Um, and Devontae so, Adams had less than fucking 10 points. No, but I'm just saying, if your quarterback just did, if he scores 13, he didn't have to hit his average. <laughs> just score, if he scores three more if points, you win. 10 points. Yeah, you win the game. Pathetic. I can't, I don't, but this is the kind of shit that was going on Sunday. <laughs> there was all kinds of weird shit happening. How did the Rams go into Seattle and do that to Seattle? Nobody in America had that. 
What? No, buddy. They didn't just beat them. They whipped their they ass. Like, oh, you forgot we were good? Oh, my God. They it's were almost like, like the Rams uh, took last year off. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. we were in the Super Cooper Bowl. Cooper Cup didn't even play. That's right. He said. didn't even play. And they, they beat the shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 Debo Samuel, not Debo, DK Metcalf was so pissed off. He got a penalty in the second half, roughing up a fucking a cornerback. Really? And, yeah, they were getting he pissed and frustrated. Yeah. And he goes, That's the way I play. I'm like, No, no, you're getting your ass handed to you and you know how to handle it. So you pick on a little five foot eight cornerback, right, you're exactly. six five. Right. Like, that was what he, that's how bad it got. I'm just like, Man, they rattled them. They yeah. rattled them. Well, and nobody, good for them. yeah, good for them. Good for the Rams. Yeah, they, they showed I up. I mean, they, the Rams didn't play last year, basically. Basically not. Um, they showed up yet on Sunday. Next mm-hmm. one, uh, Washington, Washington. We, we both, both had picked, that. And that was a Donnie. It was a Donnie. Arizona was leading that game that kid, with fucking look, Josh Dobbs as the QB. Look, that kid, that, that coach can coach. I guess he so. Coached him up. I he coached him so. up. He did. And I was him. making fun of him. Yeah, we all were. You got a fire in that gut? You got yeah, a fire in your yeah. gut? Somebody had a little fire in their belly. On you Sunday got a fire in your gut? Yeah. Well, I mean, do you, take, do you take the car or the, the bus Giants, over? It's not going to be an easy game for the Giants on Sunday. That team's not he's gonna come in there and they're not gonna fall. They're not gonna roll over. Giants gonna have to work to get this one. Giants have to go out west. But by the way, the Giants should be fucking pissed as hell at the way they embarrassed themselves. I mean, the day But you thought show. they would have been embarrassed how they uh, or they would have been pissed about how they embarrassed themselves at the end of last year. You would have thought. However, however, things don't always transfer over mm-hmm. from year to year. Moving on, who else? Um, next one we both picked Chicago and we're wrong. Oh, dude, that game plan. <laughs> I don't. How understand. did Jordan Love look? I didn't get. I, oh, he looked I like he, that dude. Look is, good. That dude's for real. He's <laughs> yeah, real. yeah. He's dude, real. Green Bay knows oh. how now, to do it. Now, to be fair, Chicago was statistically the worst defense in all of football last year. Yikes. So take it with a grain of salt. But he was missing his number one receiver. He was, for what it's worth. Who again, was? Uh, Wat- Chris Watson was out. He didn't play. Oh, yeah, 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 Christian. Yeah. Christian Watson. He's good. Yeah, he he, look at he. I'll tell you what. He looks good again. It's Chicago, so you take a good But look, Green Bay went on the road and won by almost three touchdowns yeah. without their number so one receiver. I don't 20? care. Yeah, I don't care who you. That's impressive. So because it's hard to win on the road in this league, but they did it yeah. and they did it convincingly. But again, I don't know what Chicago was doing. <laughs> I still don't know what that game plan was. DJ Moore didn't do shit. I, no, because they kept. <laughs> They have no understanding, based on what I saw, of how to use him, how to set him up. Mm-hmm. They kept him primarily on one side of the field. Bailey sent him in motion. They didn't do anything. They didn't step him back off the line to get a free release. They did nothing to help him. Nothing. Nothing. They wouldn't even go goal line package or 12 personnel where you, bring, where you force the opponent to put seven in the box. So at least he gets maybe a one-on-one shot. They didn't do anything to manipulate coverage. They did nothing. They literally said, Hail Mary! Hail Mary! Wait, no. Roll out then! Hail Mary! Full of grace. Was unbelievable. All right. Well, maybe they just were trying to get in touch with the Catholic God by saying uh, Hail Mary's. The next one, dude. Denver. Sean. You chose Denver. I, I chose Sean. Las Vegas. Yeah. And Sean Payton. Hey Sean. Onside hey. kick hey, to Sean. start the game, and then after that Yikes. he went. After that he went conservative as fuck. You know what that screams of? Idiocy. I'm the smartest man yeah. in, in football. football. I'm the genius, God's uh, gift uh, to offensive. I'm the smartest making. coach this side of Bill Belichick. I mean, check. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the smart. You haven't I, seen an offensive I, mind I, like this since I, Matt Patricia and Joe Judge oh, joined forces. Gosh. <laughs> The combination, the combination of Judge oh. and Patricia yes. is like yes, Holmes they, and Watson. They call us the dynamic dingleberries. <laughs> <laughs> it was Holmes and Watson on steroids. <laughs> the dynamic okay, terrible. dingleberries. Terrible. Okay, so. And anyway, so I lost that one so, too. So um, then we both picked Philly, yep. which we've discussed which, yeah, that game. Yeah. We both picked the Chargers and we're wrong. Because they played, but this is the other idiot in the room. The other village idiot we talked about. <laughs> How does this fucking guy still have a job? He is literally trying to one-up Bill Belichick. Listen, America, I'm going to say this very, very slowly. You do not cover Tyree Kill and D- Jalen Waddle one-on-one. You want to go eight-on-one. You don't do it. You play, if you don't have one shutdown corner and a safety over the top, Play zone, drop seven, and keep everything in front of you. That's the only way to play those guys. Mm. That's it, and that's all. You do not play man-to-man, never mind man for four fucking quarters. 
And they were ahead with 30 seconds to go. If they Yikes. had just played zone mm. or cover two or anything where you're dropping six back or seven back and you're forcing them to under, go on, on their underneath routes and, and check downs, you keep them in front of you at least. Maybe you hold them to field goals. What the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't get it. I just don't. It's, how does this guy have a job? <laughs> How, two years ago, he he, we, we, he would go for it on every fourth down. Fourth guy, and thirty-seven. Didn't they fire the guy before him wasn't. Was yeah. Him, who who was that? I don't know, but he they're they're probably wishing he still had him. Was it a black coach? I don't remember. It was the Chargers coach? I don't remember. Years but ago. The, the bottom line is, this guy should have been fired twice already. And and he, after this, I don't know how he still got a hat on his head that says Chargers on it. I don't get it. I don't get it. This guy is costing them what the fuck kind of defensive game plan for those two. They're the best one-two combo in the league. What the fuck are you doing? And they're the fastest one-two combo in the league. What the fuck are you doing? So, yeah, we both got that one wrong. Moving on. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find the Chargers uh, coach from 2020. Oh, God. I'm sorry, America. I'm just... Anthony I, Lynn. Anthony Lynn. Didn't they fire him quick? I don't know. I think he was an intern coach. Did he ever actually have the job? Or was he an intern coach? He had the job. Okay. Well, I don't remember him. He wasn't there very long. Yeah, because he was the assistant head coach. Um, for? For the 49ers. Oh, that's okay. So he was one of the that came off that, that pecking yeah. order there. Um, right, so, yeah, him. so moving on, after San Diego's debacle, defensive debacle. LA. Then we both picked. So we both picked the Chargers and we both picked Seattle. Mm. And remember it was a game where like, we're not even going to talk about this one. Nope. No Cooper Cup. Rams stink, Rams and then stink. the Rams just slapped the just shit out of Seattle. Bitch slapped them. There was a play. Did you see the play where they they had uh, what's his name, the quarterback for Seattle, mic'd up, and they ran a stunt. Uh, ah. He went, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Aaron Donald came free, and you see Aaron Donald like this coming right at you. <laughs> he goes, "Oh God!" <laughs> Geno Smith did one of those little Zach oh, Wilson, yeah, alligator arm. Bah! Oh just my God! Out. Just get it out. And 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 everybody was looking at Orlovsky, and he's like, "What?" You guys think it's funny till they're coming at you, and, and then Stephen A. goes, "Yeah, but you'll just run out of the end zone." <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get to yeah. see any of that game, so uh, I don't really know. Did Geno have a bad game? The, the Rams were did not. They look like the Rams team that won the Super Bowl. They did. Yeah, the way yeah. they played, they played hard. They, they, they I don't know who the running back was. They ran the ball right down to Seattle. The Cam Akers. Mm, I feel like he was. The, I don't remember. Maybe, but they ran the ball right at them. They they were like, "We're gonna beat you up." And they did. They did exactly to them what San Fran did to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, so, and then what was the game after that? Well, you well, picked, and then you you were the you were the fucking noob of the night and picked the Giants. <laughs> I wasn't the only one that picked the Giants. Really? There was other people. That picked A lot the Giants? of experts picked the Giants. Yikes! Yeah, I wasn't and the they one. lost. They didn't show up. A 40 burger. They didn't My show wife up. turned 40 on Tuesday. I think it was a nice. But the Giants uh, gave me a nice 40 you know, on I Monday. I thought the Cowboys were very thoughtful there, giving you a right. 40 spot. I right. thought it was very nice of them. It was nice yeah, that, you know. Nice. The Cowboys they knew my you. wife's birthday they was knew? coming up. Hell, here's 40. Big four. Here's 40 for you. Here's 40. Yeah. Tell your husband we apologize. Yeah. And then you picked um, Buffalo. Yep. Who should have won that fucking game. More like Fluffalo. <sighs> Josh Allen. You easily won the Trojan Ends Boner of the Week award. <laughs> easily. Four of the stupidest fucking turnovers. I had, Throwing into double coverage. What the fuck? You look at all three of those fucking picks. They are awful reads. They are awful. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. <laughs> all of them. Like, every one of them, Tony Romo, whoever it was in the fucking booth, is going, what, what is he? Why? Just why? What is he doing? Like, that just, ugh. And then, then the fumble, which was a you know you know what you know how bad the fumble was. Mark Sanchez, Mr. Butt Fumble himself, commented, mm. "Hey, he ran right up his lineman's backside with that ball. Where do they get this stuff from?" He tweeted that. <laughs> Even mm. Mark Sanchez, the most embarrassing play in Jets history, was making fun of you, mm. Josh Allen. That's how bad it got. Okay, so kudos to the Jets for not quitting when Aaron Rodgers went down. By the way, talk about a gut punch. How many, how um, many games were there? There were 15 games. This guy went 10 and 5. Yeah. He went 10 and 5. I went 7 and 8. That's the best so, week I've probably ever So we're going to write those down. We keep our scores every week. He's up 10 and 5. He's got a three game lead on me out of the gate. 10 and 5 to set. I'm going to write those down. 10 and yeah, 5 I'll to set. Put it under, us. Yep, under week one. So we'll pick our games probably in segment two. We're going to take a quick break here. We're going to go over fantasy football in segment two. Um, we're gonna go over yes. our 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 um, advice, what worked, what didn't work, what where you know the what what the fuck moment. We're both gonna probably have a what the fuck moment <laughs> somewhere, and then um, we'll start to look ahead to 
Week two, boys and girls, starting with tomorrow night, Philly uh, at is, is Minnesota at Philly or is Philly at Minnesota? I don't remember. I think uh, Minnesota is at Philly. Question. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll talk about that in segment two. It is Wet My Whistle Wednesday. That is a doubtable one. The high question. We will see you on the other side real quick. Grab a cold one. We're going to find Yoda, Betty, and Joe Boo, and we will be talking to you very soon.